So why did the court flip on you here? What happened in that court for them to say, you know what, I'm taking this a child away from this mother and giving this child to an accused molester. What happened? From what I understand, what happened during that trial is I was portrayed as being crazy and just uh, not a bad mother, but just completely crazy. That I had made this all up and I was going to damage her by that. Okay, listen, I, I trained as a forensic psychologist. I've worked in the court system as someone that does evaluations and advises the court as is the fitness as a parent. And let me tell you, there has to be major findings to undo a working situation. There was no indication that, that, that you were neglecting this child, that you were failing to get doctor visits, that you were not feeding, clothing, bathing, loving, nurturing this child. Something major had to go before the court for them to say, you know what, we're gonna disrupt this child's life and take this child away from this mother and give it to an accused molester. What was it? I, I honestly don't know. I was, everyone was shocked whenever he got custody of her and I got such a limited supervised visitation because there was not a, I, I didn't feel like they had a right <clears throat> to do what they did. Okay, how do you feel about being here today? I'm hoping that it'll help my situation with my daughter. That's why I'm here for Sophie. Because I want to help this situation. Because your life is not working at this point, right? Your daughter's not in your life. She's not. And so what you're doing is not working. So you have to change something. You have to be able to take a look at yourself and go, look, obviously this is working. I need to change something. And so you have to be willing to take a painful look at yourself, just like he has to be willing to take a painful look at himself, or this child is gonna be caught in the middle forevermore. How did you two manage this into such a fractured situation? You can't tell me you have no idea what happened in court. Why, why is court would take such a radical position? Didn't they think you were coaching this child? They, they claimed that in the first trial, yeah. No, that, that was claimed by the other side, but the court must have believed that. As far as whenever the judge gave his ruling, he, he basically said that he was afraid that I couldn't keep my mouth shut, is what he said. Say that again? That I couldn't keep my mouth shut. About? About that I believe that something had happened to her. So they alleged and the court believed that you coached her to say those things rather than that you believe they really happened. No. I think that they were more concerned with that I believe strongly that they happened and they didn't want that affecting her relationship with their father. Did the court believe she was molested? The court didn't have enough evidence. So they did not believe she was molested? They didn't no. have enough evidence to decide that she was molested? No, they didn't. Okay, and they thought you were gonna continue telling who that she was molested? They, they thought that I would continue portraying her dad, or not continue portraying her dad, but that I would portray her dad as a negative person. To her? To her. Is that true? No, that is not true at all. Did you ever coach her? No, I did not. Did you ever encourage her? No, I did not. Did you falsely accuse him of molesting her? Now I believe that he didn't do it, but at the time I believed 100% that he did it.